Hello everyone, we're here at the Electrify America in Van Horn, Texas, and we're going to do a world's first full 0-100% to charge curve test of the Kia EV6. And this will also apply to other eGMP vehicles from Hyundai Motor Group, including the Ionic 5 and 6, Kia EV9, and Genesis GV60. We're connected to ABB Terra 350 kilowatt units. There's a look at the data sheet. And let's go into the vehicle. You can see I arrived here with 0%. I was doing a range test, so I ran it to 0, actually below the 0% buffer. You can see the OBD2 data right there. Actual starting state of charge in the BMS is only 1%. That's about the equivalent of negative 4% SOC displayed if the vehicle displayed negative percentage. So we'll get plugged in and see how it does. You can see right before we plug in, we're sitting at a voltage of about 580 volts. That's the lowest I've ever seen any eGMP vehicle go. And like I said, we're only at 1% SOC in the battery management system. Okay, so here go the contactors. And charging to start. And there's a count up timer from the moment the contactors closed and connected the DC fast charger to my battery. You can see it's already ramping up, already at 80 and 100 amps, 60 kilowatts, 80 kilowatts. So it's ramping up really quick in under 30 seconds, as you can see. And the voltage is climbing fast. The normal voltage for eGMP vehicles bottoms out at about 690. So it's climbing towards that at the 30 second mark. And this right here is really incredible. It's already pulling almost 300 amps. And there's the max, 305 amps, 200 kilowatts. At only 2% state of charge in the BMS. That is really incredible. That's pulling its full amperage, full current, full power. At this low of a voltage, I don't think I've seen any other EV pull full current at this low of a state of charge in the BMS. So that's really incredible that it's pulling full current already by 3% SOC BMS. At the 1 minute mark, approaching 690 volts, which is the typical minimum. And pretty soon we're going to cross over into positive territory for the state of charge displayed. You'll see it come up here shortly. We're at around 5% SOC BMS. That's when the state of charge display ticks up above zero. So you do have about a 5% buffer below zero, and I'd rather not use it, but it just happened to occur for this long range test. But yeah, you can see the voltage and state of charge is already climbing right there, and we're still pegged at the full 305, 306 amps that the vehicle can take. And yeah, that's already 214 kilowatts, since the voltage is already at 700 volts. So that's another advantage of the 800 volt architecture. You only need to pull about 300 amps to see over 200 kilowatts of power. So the 800 volt architecture is very, very efficient. So the vehicle's going to sit at this charge rate for a while, so let's speed up the video to the next taper point. Here at the three minute mark, the AC compressor turns on and starts chilling the coolant for the first time. And here's our first thermal throttle at 50 degrees Celsius battery max. And then there's another thermal throttle at 51 degrees Celsius max. That's 150 amps, about 120 kilowatt limit. And then the final thermal throttle is at 53 degrees Celsius max. And we're brought down to a very slow 30 kilowatt charge limit. That's about 37 amps. So we're gonna be stuck here until the temperature decreases below 53 degrees Celsius. And during this time, the car is pulling 4 kilowatts or 6 amps directly from the charger to power the AC compressor, which is going full blast. And now as the temperature is down to 52 degrees Celsius, the car ramps back up to 150 amp limit, which is about 120 kilowatts, as the battery voltage increases. At the 22 minute mark, we hit the 60% added threshold, which is the equivalent to the Kia advertised 20 to 80% metric. And we achieved it only 4 minutes slower than the advertised 18 minute benchmark time which is pretty good considering the ambient temperatures outside were about 32 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And here at the 30 minute mark, we hit 80% state of charge display just 30 minutes after plugging in from nearly dead. 
Right here you see the battery cell check in action for EGMP vehicles. Charging essentially pauses and it only pulls about 4 kilowatts or 6 amps from the charger until it can check all the battery cells. That lasts for 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Then the charge rate ramps back up again before going on its normal charge amperage taper. You can see a smooth taper starting right now. It'll be reflected at the graph at the end of the video. And then for some reason right here the charge session faulted out. So I had to restart it but I made sure the timer was accurate. And for some reason the car requests a lot more power, has a momentary spike of 130 kilowatts or 164 amps before the car goes on its normal amperage taper and settles in at about 45 to 50 kilowatts and decreasing as the battery climbs towards 100% state of charge. And you can see here near the end is where the state of charge display is actually a lot higher than the state of charge in the battery management system. You can see it's about 2 to 3% higher and it will only climb higher as it goes towards 100%. You can see we're still pulling an incredible 30 kilowatts at 93% displayed. It's about 37 amps. So yeah, this car charges really fast and we're only at the 43, 44 minute mark. We also surpassed the 90% energy added figure, which is the equivalent of charging from 10 to 100% in only 43 minutes. And of course it'd be a lot quicker if we didn't have that thermal throttle event, but still really impressive. And at 95% state of charge display, we're still pulling 30 kilowatts, which is 0.4C charging rate. So really impressive this high into the battery pack. So here we are, 54 minutes on the dot. We completed the full charge from 1 to 97% SOC BMS, which will be the equivalent of negative 4 to 100% state of charge displayed. So yeah, really fast charge for the Kia EV6. And at our peak charging rate, we were adding 20% every 5 minutes. That's 4% every minute, and that's 1% added every 15 seconds of charging. That's really fast and it held it for 10 minutes. It would have held it a few more minutes if it didn't thermal throttle so soon because the ambient temperature outside was quite high. So yeah, I would say the EV6 is the fastest charging car under $60,000 hands down. No other car comes close, especially for the full charge, but then also its peak charge holds it for longer than competitor Tesla Model Y. And also coincidentally, the key EV6's voltage is almost exactly double the Tesla Model Y's voltage. So to see 200 kilowatts, we need half the amps that the Tesla Model Y needs. So yeah, the 800 volt architecture overall is just very efficient. And now here's a look at the charge curve. So you can see the power level quickly ramped up to 200 kilowatts just 35 seconds after I plugged in. And like I said, I have not seen any other EV that can pull its full power, full current at 1% state of charge in the battery management system. So it's really incredible that the EV6 only took 35 seconds to ramp up to full current and full power. And you can see right here on the charge curve, it held that full power of above 200 kilowatts for about 10 more minutes until the 11 minute and 12 second mark. That's when it hit its first thermal throttle. And then 30 seconds later, it hit another thermal throttle. When the battery max hit 53 degrees Celsius, it thermal throttled the most to only 30 kilowatt charge rate. And it held that for seven minutes as it was trying to cool down the battery. Then once it cooled down to 52 degrees Celsius max, the charge rate ramped back up to 150 amps or about 120 kilowatt limit. And that was the max charge rate we saw for the rest of the charge session. Then this dip in the charge curve right here happens at 82% displayed, 80.5% in the BMS. And that's the battery cell check, also dubbed the Korean Siesta by Bjorn Nieland. And the car essentially pauses charging to check all the battery cells. So with not that much incoming current, the battery voltage will equalize and the car is able to check that all the battery cells are within temperature and within voltage. And that lasts for about 200 seconds. And then that dip to zero is because the charge session faulted out at 88%. If it didn't fault out, the charge curve would continue as a straight curve around that 88% mark. And the charging curve continues as a gradual slope to 100%. But keep in mind that since I plugged in below 0% state of charge displayed, the whole charge curve shifted to the left by about 5%. When I did another charge session at another time, I plugged in at 25% state of charge and by 98, I was still pulling 20 kilowatts. 
and that's because the charge curve in the video has shifted to the left since I plugged in so early below 0% displayed. So usually you're able to have a slightly higher charge rate in the 90% range than is shown in this video. Now moving on to a graph showing just the state of charge and battery temperature, you can see here at the left, at its steepest charge rate, we were adding about 4% every minute. That's 1% added every 15 seconds. And that happened from the 30 second mark to about the 10, 11 minute mark. And then right here is where it slowed down a lot, where we were stuck at that 30 kilowatt charge rate. And that's really slow. We were only adding 1% every two minutes. So at a 30 kilowatt charge rate, you only add half a percent every minute. And then this next steepest part of the graph is not too bad. We were at 150 amps or about 120 kilowatts. That's half of the full charging rate of 305 amps, 220 kilowatts. And right here, we're adding 2% every minute or 1% every 30 seconds. So yeah, not too bad at this charge right here. And then now in terms of energy added, it took 12 minutes to add the first 50% and then 42 minutes to add the second half. And obviously the second half was slowed down both by the battery thermal throttling and then the battery cell check, which was three minutes of battery cell check and seven minutes of thermal throttling. So in 10 minutes, 42% energy was added. In 15 minutes, we added 55% energy back. And in 22 minutes, we added 60% energy back. It took 31 minutes to get to 80% state of charge displayed, but it took 23 minutes to add the last 20%. And it took 16 minutes to add the last 10% displayed. So charging to 80% is 43% quicker than charging to full, and charging to 90% is 30% quicker than charging to full. So unlike most EVs, the key EV6 charges really fast up to 90%. Most EVs slow down very significantly after 80%. EV6 only really slows down for the battery cell check, and then after that it can ramp back up to almost 80 or 90 kilowatts up until like 90%, and then at 90% it's around 60 kilowatts, which is still quite fast of a charge rate compared to most other EVs, and that's about a 0.8C charging rate. So yeah, that's going to be it for this full charge curve test and analysis video in the Kia EV6. I do believe the EV6 is the fastest charging car under $60,000. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to get subscribed and check out other EV6 videos on my channel. I have some EV6 road trips coming up and also some Comma 3X ADAS tests which work a lot better than the stock Kia Lane Follow Assist system. So get subscribed so don't miss out on any of those videos. And again, thanks for watching.